Hi everyone, welcome to Megan Sullivan Art. Um, here today to show you through my latest journal that I've just finished, um, which is a beach journal. And I was going to create one anyway, but one of my ladies, um, Sue, who's been a bit of a collector of my journals, wanted to see a beach themed one which had elements of birds and whales in particular. So they feature in this journal. Um, and what I've done, so I've created this journal, it's a two signature journal, quite um, chunky, it's got um, 100 pages all together and in the middle is a loose um, folder which has got some ephemera and a couple of other things in it I'll show you. Um, so I've called it a day at the beach and on the front we have one of my fluid acrylic painting pieces here. This background piece which looks like distressed timber has come from the graphics fairy um, I think it was one of their membership packs, but I'll provide the links for all the digitals below. There's this cotton kind of netting stuff, which when I got it, I wasn't sure what on earth I would do with it, but it, here we are. It's now um, on my beach journal. Uh, and a definition for beach from a children's um, dictionary, which I have um, just like just sprayed a bit of blue ink. Um, and it says, beach, A, the part of the seashore that is covered by high tides it is made of sand, pebbles and rocks. And then in italics it says, there are fine sandy beaches in Australia. So all of the book pages in here are pretty much uh, related to Australia. Um, so we'll go through that. Um, I have used a little golden book which is called Beach Days. In here, it's in here in order in its entirety. Um, I've used Nevermore Creations 17's Sand and Sea Digital Journal Kit. There are some elements from the Artie Mays um, beach themed kit as well um, and then some of the membership um, graphics from the graphics fairy so measurements wise it is 16 centimeters wide 22 centimeters tall um, it has a seven centimeter spine and I've used another piece of my painting to cover the signature stitching um, and it has this gorgeous dangle this dangle I got second hand um, and the only thing I've added is this strand here which is these beautiful um, glass faceted beads and some kind of iridescent beads, some shell beads and these unikite beads as well. So that is on some wax linen which is attached so that creates a beautiful tassel there and it's attached by wax linen to the spine. Um, what have we got? So we have book pages on shells in here. We have a beach and boating book pages. We've got a book on aquatics, some of their pages. Some children's storybook pages um, and also some colouring and sticker book pages and then yeah the elements from the three different kits. So this tie is glued all the way around apart from across the front of the journal and a bit behind the front the front painting. This is the one of the graphics fairy oh no sorry this is a scrapbooking paper this one just a random sheet that I was given. Um, this is some fabric here which has got sort of um, you know, like seaweed and some bright fish. So this is the sand and seas. This is the um, Nevermore Creations paper, which I then I cut in half, sewed to the individual pages of the journal. This is the Beach Day book. I didn't trim it down, I just folded the ends. This is some beautiful handmade paper. This is from a magazine, so that's jellyfish and just oceany colours there. Sharks and Big Game, this is one of the book pages exploring the sands and tide pools. This is one of the shell book pages. This has shells from all over the world. That one. Um, this is Nevermore Creations. This is Artie Mays. These both are Nevermore Creations element pieces. Backed onto coffee dyed paper. And I chose coffee dyed because it reminds me of the sand. So that's where those colour choices have come from. Um, I did a couple of sheets of tracing paper that I've um, stamped up with silver. These are some post-it notes here, and this is an envelope from the Nevermore Creations kit, which hasn't been assembled, it's just been folded. Kids book page with turtles, coral, beach, Nevermore Creations, some shimmery pearlescent paper there. This is a book on Australian shells, um, sewn onto some of this um, graphics fairy paper. This was from a kids book. Um, this is Graphics Fairy, Coffee Dyed. This is Artie Mays, and this is from another book. So this is about um, some of the 
um, eggs, bird eggs. So there's those three elements there. Uh, little golden book. Uh, from the Rainbow Fish book, this was a German book, version of the book, so I didn't feel too bad about chopping that up to turn it into a couple of swing tags with a little holiday um, charm there. Some fish. This is the first of four beads, uh, strands hanging off the side. Um, some tracing paper with a burlap background. Tracing paper. Um, this is just from a kid's book page. And this is Artie Mays, um, which printed out on black and white. It printed out black and white, not colour. So I still was going to use it. So that's gone in there. Handmade paper. This is the book on aquatics. So this is also to do with snorkeling. Some coffee dyed paper. Nevermore Creations. Some interesting beach and boating book things. Um, Nevermore Creations Pocket. Nevermore Creations. And this one is an Artie Mays tag. And this is one of the colouring in and sticker book pages there. So there's lots of space in here, despite it being quite um, full. This kind of reminds me of the footprints on the sand from the air. <laughs> Never more creations for the middle of the journal. Um, this was a gift card I think it was a birthday card that I found at the second hand shop and I've just collaged over the happy birthday bit collaged over that wording in the middle with a with a tag and then a, a probably a heron bird there I think so that's usable um, tracing paper and burlap little golden book splish splashing the colouring sticker book section about good seamanship and equipment for pleasure boats never more creations surfboarding this time surfboard riding a rainbow fish pocket here with an Artie Mays postcard a tracing paper pocket this is from the graphics fairy and this is never more creations Even more creations. Love the illustrations of that book. The Beach Days book. Um, a kid's book page pocket with a magpie lark image I've turned into a journal card. Um, a whale. There you are, Sue. Not your southern right, maybe, but... <laughs> more shells. Seabirds of our coast. Deep and dark blue ocean. end of the first signature. Um, this is the ephemera pack so we'll leave that till the end. Um, seashells by the seashore. Nice big gap here in the middle for expanding this journal even further. But that's why the um, envelope fits in there so beautifully. Some whales from a kids book page. Some seals. More seashells and I thought those two pages went well together. An Artie Mays pocket and an Artie Mays um, twin tag coffee dyed paper on the back. Um, this has another dangle on it. Uh, Never more creations. This is another colouring and sticker book page with a seahorse. This has got two Never more creations tags or journal spots and a rainbow fish one. Onto the distressed timber from Graphics Fairy. Um, this image here was from a the bird book that I've gotten the different bird um, images from. That's um, the superb blue wren. Another rainbow fish tag. Um, Artie Mays, both of these. Onto, these are both the um, the end papers, I think they are, from the one of the books, the Australian Beach and Boating book. I've used as much of those books as I could. I don't like to waste any of those book pages when I strip a book out. Beautiful illustration there. Really nice thick paper, that one. More shells. Um, this is an Artie Mays envelope, which I have stuck down. So that's assembled, that one. You can put something in there. Snorkeling. Another tracing paper tuck here with a book image. 
These are both um, Nevermore Creations onto coffee dyed, and this is a Tawny Frogmouth onto coffee dyed paper. They sit in there. We've got some clamshells, Nevermore Creations, more shells. The ocean calls to me. Fun with but rowing boats is that one with another bead dangle. Handmade paper. Centre of the second with the um, sand and seas um, journal pages. Live in the sunshine, swim in the sea, drink the wild air. And that says Emerson by Emerson. How to sail a small boat. Turtle and seashells. Um, all the sewing has been done in a variegated thread, so you'll see it goes from darker to pale all the way around. And that's all the same um, thread throughout. Another little fish swing tag with a um, clamshell there. That's come off a piece of jewellery, so I like to recycle as much as I can. Surfing. Handmade paper. More shells. Lots of extra writing space along that section. And you could cover over this if you wanted to, or you could paint over it, gesso it. Rainbow fish pocket here. These are both the Nevermore Creations tags, journal cards. And this is another one of those, these, sorry, this book. This is an image of a lobster, which I really liked. So I've turned that into a journal card with a few little flat back um, acrylic things there. A B, which backs onto the rest of the seahorse page. Seagulls. Um, another Artie Mays envelope, and I've just put a tag um, over there, which is Graphics Fairy, and that one has been glued down, ready to put something in. The seabirds of our coasts. Seals. Bit of a whale. And the end. Yeah, so this is definitely a scrapbook paper. I did think it was graphics fairy, but it's definitely scrapbook paper. So that is the end of the journal. So it's there is still a lot of writing space in there, um, but it is there is a lot of book pages too. But as I said, they're very flexible, and you can always do a lot with those. So let me go through this ephemera envelope for you. So this has been done with another of the colouring um, pages, and it's an octopus that I have. Um, used. There's his eye, there's his other eye for that one. So in here we've got two envelopes. This one is unembellished and inside is um, a beautiful card. This is a new card that I bought and it's blank inside. It just says life is beautiful. Um, and what I've chosen to do with this is sew in a whole lot of extra off cuts and different papers. So I'm trying to use up the papers that I've got basically and so there's a whole heap of different stuff in here that you can either use for collage or you can rip out or write on, add photos to whatever. You can make it like a little secret journaling spot. So that's that one there. Life is beautiful on that card. If I can get it back in there. And I didn't embellish the envelope this time because I just left it as it was. Then this one I got from the second hand shop and I just screamed beach journal to me straight away. And then the card that was inside was just as beautiful, but it had thinking of you embossed on the outside, but I just love the colours. So I, this is Nevermore Creations, and Artie May's pocket, I think. Um, and then I've just got two bits of green card in there. And then on the inside where you could see the embossing still, I've just collaged over it with a bit of um, blue, with a bit of a silver splash. And then again, more of those different papers that you can use for whatever you like they're all nice and grungy so that's that one and then this is the front part of the front cover of the little golden book beach day and all I've done on the back is just glue on some blue cards so you can actually use it as a journal space as well or maybe a photo or a note to whoever you're giving this to as a gift if it's a gift another tracing paper um, like ephemera folder I guess and I've just backed it onto some paper there. And so in here you've got all the extras that I didn't use. So this is uh, the seashell, uh, sorry, the starfish come from the Nevermore Creations kit. You've got some of the graphics fairy stuff in here. There's 
some sh seashells that I've included that I was going to use for collage, but I haven't. Um, so there's those in there. These are from the Graphics Fairy as well. You've got offcuts of all the papers. I didn't throw anything out. There's even more tracing paper. Um, there's offcuts, um, fish cutouts that have come from the Nevermore Creations kit. So I've cut, fussy cut them out. Um, we've got birds as well. So there's more sea, ocean related birds here. Um, some of them are quite big, but you can still use them in this project or others. But all basically anything that I had cut out for this that I didn't use is in here. So there's a lot that you can use um, to further decorate or, you know, if you're making a beach journal or something, you can go to town. So that's everything that you get with this journal. So it's quite a lot. Um, there's the envelope that all comes in. And then you've got this beautiful journal, you know, to use as either a keepsake or record your memories. Um, if you holiday at the beach or live at the beach or whatever it might be. So thank you for watching. Um, this one, if uh, so today is the 16th of September, 2019. So if this journal doesn't sell um, after Sunday coming up, um, it will be sent over to the States to Lindsay Zanor at Nevermore Creation 17 for her to sell in her online marketplace. So if it doesn't sell by then, that's where it will be. So you may be able to find it up there for sale. Otherwise, if you're interested in buying this one, please get in contact with me and I'll make all the relevant links for um, any digital kits used and things like that that I can come across. So thanks again. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time with the next journal. Cheers. Bye.